Hi everyone, my name is Arun Rangaswamy. I've been with the company for more than 10 years. In the current role, I'm the industry manager for architectural codings for Australia and New Zealand. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about a DIY home improvement project, in particularly about painting. So, so what benefits do we get if we involved in a DIY home improvement projects? It keeps you very active. You can involve your family. At the end of it, you feel very, very positive and rewarding because you've done an improvement to your home. And talking about different type of DIY projects, uh, particularly for me, painting is one of the easiest, inexpensive ways to bring a room to life. Uh, and also it involves very minimal risk. Uh, so the first most important thing is please look around your house to make sure that there is no leftover paints. If there is any leftover paints, please try to use them. But if you feel the paints are too old and you cannot be used, you can help us recycle the paints by dropping off the unusable paint in the nearest paint bag collection center by going to their website, which is paintback.com.au. Um, so once you're sure that there is no leftover paints, if you want to buy a new paint, then choosing the paint is very important. So when it comes to choosing a paint, I recommend you choose the paint with the lowest VOC. So what is VOC? So VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compound. So in a simpler way is when the paint is drying or when you're applying the paint, the odor that you are feeling is actually is the volatile uh, uh, substance which is coming out of the paint. Yeah, so these are very important in our paint because that helps with the performance of the paint. But at the same time, with the latest technology, we can reduce them um, to a level that is healthier. Uh, the latest BASF technology um, and also with uh, leading paints in Australia, generally most of the paints in Australia already have very low VOC. Um, the next, once you chose the paint, the next important step is to choose the color. So when it comes to the color, I recommend you choose a color that's in harmony with your furnitures and other decorations that you have in your house. The other important criteria in choosing a paint is also the sheen level or the gloss. So in general, in Australia, we use the low sheen for the walls and then we use a flat for the ceilings and for the doors and the windows, we use a gloss paint. So once you've chosen your paint, uh, the next step is the most important step, which is preparation. So when it comes to preparation, I would recommend you spend the most amount of time in this stage because a very good preparation will always yield you a very good result. And as a safety tip, uh, during the preparation stage and also the painting, please make sure that you have personal protective equipments like goggles and masks to make sure that you're safe. So once you're done the preparation, the next step will be to paint. So, so enjoy the painting. At the end of the painting, you will have an improved uh, room or house. Um, so, so, so hopefully at the end of the DIY project, you're very happy with it. So in the start of the paint selection process, I spoke about the importance of selecting a low VOC paint. Um, so with the latest, uh, in the latest technology, BASF already have a technology that could actually help achieve near zero emission. So when I say near zero emission, it actually means when you paint a water-based paint or during the drying process and even when you're applying, all that comes out of the paint is just predominantly just the water. The other benefits of the near zero emission paint is, 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 is things like uh, early occupancy. So after you paint the house, you, you can occupy the house much earlier um, so that you don't have to worry about emissions um, and also the health and the safety of the painters who are day in, day out exposed to these paints and also to other households in the family when you're doing DIY work. So that brings me to the end of the video. So thank you very much for your time listening to me. 
Um, thank you. Have a nice day and stay safe. BASF. We create chemistry.